already shuffled in, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this beautiful lover's card. That's a card above the word pass. And it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the, the Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings. Very positive ones with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, whenever you see the word Ace in the tarot, it's about new. Starting something new. Um, and they're positive. Now, to the Lover's Card, the Lover's Card is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. So it's possible that when you get this card in a reading, you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. Yeah. It's about loving someone to pieces. So this could have been how you felt about your person or your person felt about you or the both of you felt this way about each other. Just was crazy in love. So your person wanted a new start with you or you wanted one with, with your person or you could have met someone new. Ace of Pentacles, like I said, is about new. Maybe a new fresh start or a new person came into your life and it felt like there was a deep connection here. You probably, f well, with the lover's card, I won't say probably. You fell right away for this person. Right away. Um, for some of you, you were dealing with a Libra, an Aquarius. Or this could have, could have actually been a Gemini. Yeah, it's a deep connection, a deep love, the choice of two. I'm sorry, it's it's the strength of two, not the choice of two. It felt like the strength of two, a very deep connection. So maybe you got a fresh new start with your person. And the two of you just were, were like, you could have felt like this was a strong soulmate. For some of you, it could have been a twin flame. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the two of swords and it's with the six of wands. Now the two of swords can be about avoiding and blocking. And the six of wands, the card that's below the word present, it's indicating that um, your person, they actually missed the attention that you gave them. Because the Six of Wands is all about recognition, victory, and having success. And it could be about someone who actually likes attention. There could have been a lot of great chemistry with this person. Because the Six of Wands, it can be about, for example, you're the type of person that... Um, that would be, say for instance, if you, if you were the type of person that liked attention, your person would be the type that would like giving you the attention. Uh, the two of you would feed off of each other energetically. So you enjoyed and needed the attention, and they enjoyed giving it to you. And they, they actually needed this. It was like... Just great chemistry. Yeah. And your person missed this. They missed this connection that they had with you. Two of you often mirrored each other. Yeah. They could have been the one that um, missed the attention that you gave them. That's what I'm thinking. They missed the attention you gave them. But it could have went the other way, way around. 
it look it's looking like with the two of swords here, the card that's above the word present, that you will choose to avoid this person. Yeah, you you could be thinking about avoiding them or blocking their messages or their phone calls. Yeah, but someone is missing you, Sagittarius. Yeah, we got a deep connection here. Now, why are you avoiding this person? Let's move on over. Maybe we can get some clarity by looking at the challenge or maybe the outcome. So, the challenge is showing the Nine of Cups, and it's with this hermit. So, this is telling me that you could be feeling that your person... They're, they go between wanting a good relationship with you and you can feel like they they switch a lot between wanting this and then, then not wanting it. Wanting the connection, wanting it to be good, feeling it's good, and then maybe not making the connection a priority because the hermit is here. The hermit is the card below the word challenge the hermit just wants time alone time to meditate contemplate Pri um, relationships are not a priority for this for the hermit definitely not so you feel like you feel like your person is hot and cold yeah they often want to come and celebrate and have a good relationship with you then they they just flip sometimes you can't find them you feel like they ghost you so okay that would pro that could be why you're uh avoiding and blocking this situation but they miss the attention that you gave them they miss the connection this was a deep connection for them but let's see what the outcome is. We got the Magician, and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Magician is about action. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Yeah, the Magician, Manifestation Powers... It's about new beginnings and great expectations. And I'm picking up Sagittarius. This is you. You're ready to manifest some new beginnings in your life. You don't feel like you want to go through this on and off type of energy, hot and cold type of energy with your person. You don't feel like I'm getting you've been with this person before. And for some of you, you haven't. It could be a new person like the Ace of Pentacles this year. And you just know. You know their energy. They're in it and then they're, they disappear. So you're ready to manifest new beginnings. You got a lot of great expectations for this year. And Seven of Cups, the card below the word outcome. That's that's a lot of choices. It's showing that you're going to keep your options open this time. Yeah, you're keeping your options open. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those so Sagittarius thank you so very much for watching thank you guys for getting me close to 50k I really appreciate that. All you listeners and all you subscribers, thank you so much. 
I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Yeah, hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, or situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much. Thanks for supporting my channel. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.